Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuche, and we are going to be spooling up another LX, but we're going to be trying something different today. We're going to be using a heavier top shot than we normally use for our reels. We normally use 80 and 100 pound, so we're going to be going with 130 of the tight line braid to see what kind of line capacity we can get on here. So, definitely going to be one for the books for knowledge because the tie line braid has been getting great numbers in line capacity so there's the 130 chartreuse but we're going to be going with what color for the backing what gotta fight gotta fight i think i gotta got a lot of stress on my mind it's a nice day to go yeah i got a line i'm a We're gonna use 80 pound in the white. And also too guys, um, now that they've got their laser, they're actually doing a QC check. So if it doesn't have the sticker there, I wouldn't say you can be inclined to, to find something, but if you find it with that sticker, you let us know or let them know. They are definitely wanting to know if anything is going wrong with that laser at any given time. So that is the one good thing about Thailand Braid is they're really in tune with keeping their customers 100% on top of their game with the braid they purchased from them. So. Hey, doing, boss? How can we help you? I've been worse. <laughs> I had my leg cut off and sewed back on, so I ain't moving real quick. I had that done with my hip back yes, in sir. December 8th. Uh, Completely wore it out. Fishing ain't good for you. What? No, you're in the wrong shop then. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now, too much fishing ain't good for you. Oh, slap ass wore it out on boats. <laughs> okay, boat fishing? Boats yeah, boat yeah. Fishing. That, that'll mess you up. Too much yeah. rocking and rolling. Yep, to totally understand you there. All right, so we're back to being friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that guy sitting down over there. Uh, <laughs> I think he's lost in the sauce on his, uh, uh, what do I call it? Uh, musical. A musical. Uh, yep, we were trying to talk to him, but he didn't hear us until I said, hey, how's that musical doing? Here? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> yep, busted him watching. What's that, uh, that new musical that's out? Uh no, not Frozen. It's, uh... Ah, oh, I forgot it, man. Uh, Annie, the the remake of Annie, like, it's a total musical. Like, you know, I started watching it, I was like, okay, I gotta turn this off. Couldn't watch it. The original Annie, I liked that. It was cool, but not this one. So how can we help you, boss? We're just, we're just lollygagging here, about to pull up a reel for him. So. Uh, Mm -hmm. Break it down and get it all ready to go for next year. Okay, next so we're gonna coming up. So we're gonna send it in to get cleaning. No. So I went to go and open it. And it wouldn't open. Ooh. Up. Got some analog. Grab the edge of it. is your man can take this thing apart and kind of straighten out what I'm fucked up. It might be safer to replace it than to try to straighten it. Okay. It, whatever's the cheapest, tell him I got some marlin I'll give him. Now everybody don't get a chance to eat no marlin. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. I'll give you some too, so. 
Social Security. <laughs> Social Security don't go that far, but I go fishing more than all the time. Man. Yeah, I catch them too. What's your biggest? Uh, I had one of them a little over 11 feet. It's mostly striped marlin that we catch. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. You believe in God? Yes, sir, I do. Well, I'm going to tell you a story. Last time I was in Mexico, there was a guy, and I recognized his accent. I said, he's from the Middle East. And uh, later on, his, his wife and their friends were eating right across from us. And uh, he said, you're Buddy Topher, huh? I said, I sure am. He said, I hear you're the greatest fisherman in Mazalon. I said, wait a minute, pal. I said, I catch a lot of fish, more fish than most people, but, I, but I don't put the greatest tag mm -hmm. on me because I'm sure there's better people. He said, so I, I said, Salam Alaikum. And he said, Wa Alaikum Salam. And I said, Bukla and Shah. And he said, you're the chosen one. <laughs> he said, I'm an Iranian Christian, and I've been praying to God to send me the man to help me. <laughs> I'm going to tear up here. Catch my marlin. And he said, you're the chosen one. Time out. Don't quit calling me the chosen one, dude. <laughs> got out there, he got one that was ten and a half foot twenty minutes into trolling which they never bite that early mm. and I got it all on video for him mm. and two guys a captain and a deckhand were both named David I said the house of David was here with you wow oh. <laughs> powerful yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Well, Stuff like that don't happen, you know? And how, how'd you find my shop, boss? I come here a long time ago and bought different things from you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about it. It was the spoons that I was interested in at the time. Mm -hmm. And I bought some of those. So I said, well, you got a little shop. You could probably do a little project. So get that guy to do it. All right. Because I should be ready to go in about six weeks. And I'm going to do some other fishing. But next May, I go for two weeks in Minnesota and a week in Canada. And I wanted to use that was the first expensive reel I ever bought. And, uh, you know, I caught thousands of fish with that reel. See this braid in here? Well, yeah. I mean, I got it out of there before. I just oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Are you sure that wasn't the simple yeah, thing? That's, that's yeah. not the problem. Okay. Okay. Turn in here. Oh, that's what locks it in. Mm. And I just, you know, I should have squirted Pookie and let it sit, and squirt more Pookie and let it sit, and I said, nah, maybe it's just a little bit. It's up in here, it ended up getting a little, a little kinked. Got a calibrated eyeball. I saw that. Uh, 
take an AccuMeasure right now. I didn't want to hurt it any worse than what it is. Moving when you when you hear a story that's so heart heartfelt, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. strand of the tight line braid and see how much yardage we can get on there. It would be real interesting. Because we've done 130 for other fishermen of uh, the Cortland, but we haven't done it with the tight line. So now this will be a good time for us to try that out. I know that uh, one of our customers was out there with the game warden when uh, he caught it, and the game warden, yeah, told him that it, it was a legal catch because it was over, it was over the the maximum size that they they said was good. Yeah. And uh, he goes, "Nah, man, he's all that's too big." He's all, "Nah," so he threw it back. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, now I'm thinking about it. If you have point, I'm gonna go out there and see what's up. All right. Well, let me know, man, because I, I want to go do some practice casting, and I might might make a run out there just to see if I could get that 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 tornado cast going out there on a pier. It was one of them that I learned this weekend on Saturday. Yeah. All right, boss. Okay. All right, later. Later, boss. All right, guys. So, go a little bit more on this side. There we go. We are at 491 yards. Wow. Man, that's pretty good. And actually, I could have could have probably got more if I got it a little tighter on there. And I, I, lo I had this too loose. Wow. Okay. <coughs> 491 yards. Perfect. And that's casting. Tip of the rock? 